Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data demo regarding advertiser status using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and the, this question has been asked in Facebook interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. This question is quite tricky. Let's, you know, uh, go through this. Write a query to update the Facebook ad advertiser status using the daily pay table. Advertiser is a two column table containing the user ID and their payment status based on the last payment and daily pay table has current information about their payment. Only advertisers who paid will show up in this table. Okay. Output the user ID and current payment status sorted by the user ID. So basically we have a table called advertiser with two different columns, user ID and status, right? So these are, these was their, you know, current status. And now you have another table called daily pay, which has, you know, different user IDs and how much they paid. And the only user IDs that are going to be in this table is the ones that they have paid. Okay. Now the definition of advertiser status is new, newly registered users who made their first payment, existing as uh, users who paid previously and recently made a current payment, churn users who paid previously, but have yet to make any recent payment, resurrect users who did not pay recently but may have made a previous payment and have made payment again recently right so basically in this example right so in this example bing yahoo and alibaba these are the three user ids so bing was new yahoo was new and alibaba was existing right now yahoo paid right so yahoo was new and they paid so they will become existing alibaba was existing and they paid so you know they become existing target there is some, something new which was not in this so obviously this is new status and what happened to bing so bing was new and the question says that in this table right only advertisers who paid will show up in this table right in this daily pay table bing was new but they did not pay anything currently right so new and you did not pay basically you churned right so that is what you have in the output so bing you churned yahoo you were new and paid existing alibaba you are existing and you still paid so you are existing right and let's go through all all this right so basically okay so whatever status you have if you do not pay you have basically churned right why because if you were new and you did not pay so you churned you were existing and you did not pay so you churned you were churned and obviously you continued you know to not pay so you are again churned and you were resurrected so basically you you did not pay last to last time you paid the last time but you again are not paying today so you have churned right so basically if you are not paying in any condition so you have churned and then for other conditions we need to make sure that okay when you are new and paid you are existing if you are existing and paid, you are existing. If you resurrected and paid, you now are existing. But now if you are churned, right? So last time you did not pay, but this time you paid. So what does mean? You resurrected. What does resurrect mean? You basically revive the practice, right? So you have revived your payment status, right? So you are paying again. So, you know, what we need to do is firstly, you know, uh, from this table, from these two tables, right? So from this table advertiser and the daily pay, you know, because we are uh, going to use the column status as well as whether they paid or not to basically determine the new status, we need to merge this information. And how do we merge the information? So from this table called advertiser aliased as a, right? Let's left to join the table daily pay aliased as d on a dot user id is equal to d dot user id okay uh, and let's keep only certain columns right we don't need all the columns so let's keep uh, user uh, user id and status from this and paid from this right so a dot user id right return a dot user id then a dot status and uh, d dot paid right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having okay so user id their status and whether they paid or not 
Now, one thing that we need to make sure that the question says that, you know, in this, in this one, right? So if you are a new customer, new customer means you just paid. So obviously you are not going to be present in the advertiser because this is the status up till last statement, right? Last statement or last month or whatever that unit is. So obviously if you are left joining advertiser and daily pay, you are only going to give or get all the rows that are in advertiser table right you are not going to have the rows from daily pay right which are basically going to be your null so for example target you are not going to have that uh, if you just do a left join so you also need to make sure that you are inculcating that so how we can do is we can reverse this join as well right so what we can write is let's union this right so union this and then from the table daily pay right from the table daily pay alias sd let's left join the advertiser table alias as a again on d dot user id is equal to a dot user id again let's keep the user id so d dot user id let's keep the why we are keeping d dot user id and not a dot user id again for example target right so target is basically a new one right so they just paid it they were not present before this so if you just paid it obviously your user id is not going to be in the advertiser so that is why if you return a dot user id so that is going to be null right so that is why we are returning d dot user id and then status so status is only in advertiser table right so a dot status and then d dot paid okay let me go ahead and run this let's see now what we have okay so if you look at it right so fit data is someone that whose status is null right so whose status is null why it is null because uh, you know that thing this fit data is present in daily pay but is not present in advertiser and if you are trying to perform a join obviously your uh, user id is coming from daily pay so it is populated right paid is coming from daily pay so it is populated but since status is coming from advertiser and which does not have that you know value so it is going to be populated null so now we have made sure that we have all of them right including the new ones right so what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and now from this common table expression let's return so in the output we are only going to have user id right so return the user id column and then we need to make sure okay so here we we saw that if you are not paying irrespective of whatever your status is right if you are not paying currently you have churned right so we can use case when statements so case when paid is null then you have churned right so you have churned okay now when either you are new and you paid so you become existing you are existing and you paid so you become existing you were resurrected and you paid so you are existing however on churn and you paid so you become resurrect right so we need to make sure that when your status right when your status is in either new right either new or existing right or churn right or churn and you paid so and paid is not null right is not null then you are basically existing right you are basically existing in case right so case when your status was churn right for this one right so case when st status was churned and you paid you resurrected right so status was churn and you paid right so and paid is not null then you basically resurrect right so basically you resurrect right and finally how to determine whether something was new right so for new ones 
as we said right so status column is going to be null right why because as we saw that we are using daily pay right so daily pay is being left joined on advertiser so all the rows from daily pay are going to be there and if you are not going to find any match on user id and advertiser you are basically going to have null in the status column and by definition new is something that just paid right so status is going to be null so when your status is null then you are basically new and we need to order this you know by user id as well right so order by uh, sorted by user id right so we need to also write order by user id okay so you are existing and you paid so you are now existing you are existing and you did not pay so you churned you were new and you did not pay so you churned you were resurrected last time you did not pay so you churned so you know you, you just paid there was no status before this so you are new you resurrected last time and you paid so now you have become existing you churned right and you paid so now you have resurrected right so last time you did not pay this time you have paid so you resurrected you churned and you did not pay so you are still churned and you were new and paid so now you are existing okay so i think this looks good let me you know since we only need user id right in the output uh let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases okay so this is accepted this is how we do it so yeah somewhat tricky question but what we had to do was firstly we kept the user id status and paid by left joining advertiser to daily pay and we also had to make sure that we are capturing the new ones because new ones are not going to be present in advertiser they are only going to be present in daily pay and if you left join that are going to be excluded so that is why we reverse the order and we kept those so now once we have the entire data then we made sure that okay since the question says that if you are not paying whatever your initial condition does not matter or initial status does not matter if you are not paying you have churned now if you are new and you paid so you become existing if you are existing and you paid then you become existing if you resurrected and you paid then you become existing right if you churned and you paid you resurrected and if your status was initially null you become new right so we use those conditions uh, to get the new condition and we uh, you know assign this value in the new column called new status and ordered by user id because that is what been the output so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video